start today with something that's going to matter a lot to developers building on the internet computer. A new tool called Lintoco has been released and it's designed to bring more consistency and quality into Motoko card bases. For those less familiar, Motoko is the language tailored for internet computer applications. It's fairly young compared to heavyweights like Python or JavaScript, and while its design has always been well suited for decentralized apps, its ecosystem hasn't had the same breadth of tools that other languages take for granted. That's where Lintoko comes in. At its core, Lintoko is a linter. If you have never used one, a linter is essentially a checker that scans code for errors, inconsistencies, or deviations from best practices. It's like a grammar checker for software. The big benefit is that it reduces the amount of manual reviewing developers need to do, helping teams keep their work clean, readable, and scalable as projects grow. Lintoko is built on TreeSitter. It's a parsing framework that's already widely adopted across programming communities. That choice means it can analyze Motoko with accuracy and without constantly tripping over edge cases. What really makes it stand out though is flexibility. Developers aren't stuck with rigid rules baked into the tool. Instead, Lintoko allows customization through TOML configuration files. Each team can design their own coding standards, encode them into the configuration, and then enforce them across projects. That matters because coding style is often about preference as much as correctness. One team might prefer a particular way of naming variables. Another might insist on indentation rules or strict spacing. With Lintoko, those choices can be turned into rules so that nobody on the team has to waste time debating style during code reviews. Another feature that stands out is extensibility. Instead of being locked into a predefined set of checks, developers can build their own rules. This opens the door to enforcing patterns that are specific to their application or even their company's internal practices. It's the kind of flexibility that more mature programming ecosystems already enjoy, and now Motoko developers have access to it as well. The way Lintoko slots into workflows has also been considered. It runs from the command line, which means developers can add it into their build process or continuous integration pipelines without hassle. It doesn't matter if they are checking a single file, scanning a directory, or analyzing an entire project where Lintoko adapts. That reduces repetitive manual checking and makes it easier to catch issues early. For Motoko, the arrival of this tool feels like another step in building out an ecosystem that developers can rely on. Without linters, teams often spend unnecessary hours doing style reviews, catching trivial mistakes, and debating conventions. With a dedicated linter, much of that friction is removed. Of course, as with any open development tool, its long-term role depends on adoption. If teams find its rules easy to configure and its output reliable, it could quickly become part of the standard toolkit for internet computer projects. The Bob project has just gone through its fourth halving, which took place on 18th August. The timing lines up almost exactly with the one-year anniversary of its mining operations. Over the past 12 months, Bob has become one of the more visible projects on the internet computer, especially for the way it introduced many to the mechanics of revenue generation on-chain. The halving itself reduces towards in line with the project's tokenomics. Some see it as a way to support long-term sustainability while others are more cautious about whether reduced incentives will affect participation. Either way, as Bob approaches its first anniversary celebrations, the community is reflecting on how the project has shaped thinking around revenue models and sustainability on ICP. Let's turn now to the caffeine ecosystem, which has been buzzing this week with new projects. Caffeine, as you know, is the AI-powered platform that lets people spin up applications without needing to code from scratch. What's interesting right now is the variety of apps that are starting to emerge, showing that developers are using the platform for both creative and practical work. One of the standout projects is Learning Galaxy, created by ICP Noob. 
This is an adaptive e-learning environment wrapped in a space theme. Students start by choosing a topic and then taking a diagnostic test. From there, the app tailors lessons dynamically, scaling the difficulty of questions up or down depending on how well the student is doing. At the moment, it's focused on grade 6 science, specifically earth and space systems, but plants are in motion to expand to other subjects and grade levels. What makes this project appealing is how it integrates personalization into the learning experience. Education technology often struggles with the one-size-fits-all model and tools like Learning Galaxy aim to make the process more responsive to individual needs. Updates already planned include larger question banks, YouTube video recommendations for students who are struggling, and additional adaptive parts. It's an example of how caffeine can be used to bring personalization into everyday tools. Another project comes from IC Stats, who developed the Interstellar Comet 3i Atlas Simulator. Using cesium 3D and custom orbital calculations, this app lets users explore comet trajectories. It's still early, but improvements in speed and accuracy are on the roadmap, along with support for other interstellar objects such as 1i, Oumuamua, and 2i Borisov. There are also plans to launch a blog and a collaborative timeline to combine technical modeling with community discussion. It's a reminder that projects on caffeine don't always need to be commercial. Some are designed to push curiosity and science forward. On the design front, Barham Barry used caffeine to quickly build looks at a beauty-focused e-commerce site. The developer highlighted how fast the platform made it possible to create something polished, positioning Caffeine as a potential shortcut for SaaS developers who want to launch projects with minimal setup. Then there is Logo Swim built by Prabha Chirolia. It's a simple but effective utility for testing logo animations. Designers can control speed, direction, motion blur, and physics previewing animations in real time before saving or embedding them elsewhere. It fills a practical gap, especially for creators who don't want to spend hours on heavy animation software just to see how a logo spins. What ties these projects together is the willingness of independent developers to release something quickly, gather feedback, and improve from there. While each of these apps is at a different stage of development, they point to a growing confidence among builders using Kefi. Experimentation is turning into practical tools, and that shows how the platform is maturing. Plug Wallet has rolled out an update that brings internet computer decentralized exchanges directly into the wallet. That includes Auden enabling rune swaps inside the interface. What's interesting is that Plug is also preparing to integrate Solana's Jupyter Exchange, one of the busiest swap venues in the crypto world. With daily volumes reported in the billions, Jupyter is a key piece of Solana's liquidity infrastructure. For Plug, adding Jupyter suggests an effort to bridge activity across ecosystems. If successful, it could position the wallet as a multi-chain tool that gives users direct access to liquidity and trading without leaving the app. The exact timeline hasn't been confirmed, but the team has made clear that Solana integration is approaching soon. As we wrap up today's episode, it's worth noting how these stories connect. Lintoko shows that Motoko is building out the tools that developers expect. Bob's anniversary and Harving demonstrate that projects on ICP are maturing enough to spark debate about incentives and sustainability. Caffeine continues to attract creative experiments that may evolve into practical products, and Plug Wallet is showing that multi-chain tools are no longer just a buzzword, but something being built right now. If you would like to support this channel and the work we do in covering the internet computer ecosystem, you will find donation details in the description. We have also added direct links to all the projects mentioned today, so you can explore them further and maybe even try them out yourself. Your engagement, whether through sharing, commenting, or supporting directly, helps us keep shining a light on the developers and communities shaping this space. Thanks for watching and see you next time.